we're here at the Malibu Surf Shack with Sean Weber. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Tell me a little bit about getting started with, uh, with Surf Shack. And since the 70s, I know that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're right directly across from the world famous Malibu um, Surfrider Beach, which everybody's more than familiar with. Yeah. An iconic place from everything that got started from surfing to the movies to all sorts of different things that have happened around here. Big Wednesday and all oh, that yeah. kind of stuff up here in Malibu. So iconic. Everybody kind of knows it. So, um, so what we do here, uh, we offer a full line of different things. Um, over the years, we started to get into kayaking in the 90s, and now the new craze is a stand-up paddleboard. Yeah, stand so over the last few years, it's gotten really super, super popular. So we're one of the first to get into it. We do lessons, we do tours, we do rentals. So what we try and do here in the store, we're pretty much different than everybody else, full service, everything. We right. make sure we're gonna get you into the board because it will actually get you out in the water before you actually purchase something. Absolutely. So we'll start you with something big and then work your way down. And Yeah, exactly, natural progression that will actually get you into the board your size. Purchase. Tell me a little bit about how a person gets started with the stand-up paddleboard. So for yeah. that person that's more of a intermediate to pro, you can start off on something like this up up on top. That's primarily just for the surf zone. So it's okay. not really for a paddling that you're going to go out and paddle that around okay. and so forth. Um, as you start to drop, you start to go in from the 7s to the 8s to the 9s to the 10s to the 11s to the 12s down here. If you're a beginner, what you want to do is you want something nice and stable and bigger in the beginning. Now, now that's not necessarily what you want to purchase when you get into a board, because after you get out there, you start to get your water wings on, and then now you're going to be like, well, you know, I'm kind of getting the hang of this. Right. You can t typically drop down in a board. And I noticed that uh, these decks, they have this, uh, like, slip proof. Correct. All, all, all the decks right here have pads on them. Okay. Um, now, there are some manufacturers of boards that you can wax the boards. Uh, when we started this, almost before anybody, we were glassing our own custom boards. Um, so before the pads and so forth started to come out, and so before the manufacturers started producing sure. them, we would do wax. Okay, which, just you like know, a regular surfboard. Just like a regular surfboard, okay. which is pretty expensive with a lot of wax on oh, the yeah. board. Now, what about the paddle? Well, let me go through some of those paddles. I have these over here that you put out. Yeah, it's absolutely. Types, I guess. Well, there's, uh, there's many different varieties and different uh, manufacturers of paddles out there. Um, some of your basics are gonna be your aluminum paddle, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit heavier, and then you're gonna also have a carbon paddle. Um, so for the family out there that doesn't want the kids to be breaking, you know, three, four hundred dollar paddles, yeah. you get the aluminum yeah. and adjustable for the, you know, for, the, right. for the guy that wants to go out there and has the best right of on. everything and the lightest and so forth, then you start to go with the carbon paddles. So. Good, and then, you know, you were saying something pretty interesting is that even if you're in the Midwest and you're, you're, there's no lake around or whatever, right. you can get involved. Let me show you guys something for fun. So if you have no water and anything and you really want to get into the stand-up craze, we got something for everybody, like I said. Come in let's here and I'll show you guys. Let's go check it out. I wonder what this is. Wow, look at this board. This is what you came in here to show me, isn't it? Absolutely. So, you know what? We really, our heart goes out for the people that are around any water or any way to get out there sure. and stand a paddle board. So guess what? For you guys that are landlocked, we gotta even have oh, something for you. you're in freezing cold uh, environments where freezing you don't cold. really want to go in the water. Absolutely. Yeah. So you want to go on the land? Well, here we go. Now we've got your stand-up road paddleboard. Damn. What they did with this guy, they made it a nice oversized, so it's a nice cruiser. The bigger trucks, the bigger wheels. Yeah. And then they made a, a trick paddle for it. So if you notice the bottom, it almost looks medieval. Yeah, and it's got ru it's rubberized. Full rubberized, so it completely will last a long time, and you can put this over any terrain. Wow. So if you want to get out there and get on the road, now you have a chance to do that and you don't have I to... Need to get a buff on this thing. Absolutely. You can, get a, you can get a workout and all sorts of stuff. Same way you do it with a regular paddle. Wow. This is a family-run operation here. Um, these are some of our other staff members. Everybody's got their own job to do. These guys, this is Satellite. See how Satellite? Aww. And then this is Bosco. These guys are in charge of kids. So when they come in, it keeps everybody yeah. entertained. Absolutely. And then, and then we've got the... Uh, for the ladies over here that like the babies, we've got our two boys right here, Zach and Sebastian, our oldest son, and our youngest one. And this is my wife, Leslie. Hi. How are you? <laughs> so if you're a beginner surfer, or an established surfer, or even a pro, Mal the Surf Shack has something for everybody. We cater everything from a soft board all the way up to a thousand dollar Stewart, Walden, Hobie, Bear. So we've got literally something for everybody in the family, from a total Grom to a pro surfer, we've got you covered. So if you're traveling and you don't have a board, which we uh, have people from all around the world that can't travel, obviously with the prices, we've got something for you.
So as we walked up, I noticed you had these mobile rigs that can hold a bunch of boards. What are those for? Yeah, what those are for is we also will do tours, so on-site or off-site. So these are mobile rigs. Okay. So whether we're doing beach home parties or if somebody wants to go out and be adventurous and go into different locations, oh, yeah. we've got the trucks and the trailers, everything from open trailers to 24-foot haulers and everything, vans and all sorts of stuff. So no matter how big the group is, we do a lot of corporate stuff. So no matter how big your group is, and if you don't want to be just in one location here in Malibu, we can actually take it to wherever you are, too. Wow. So we do a lot of and you know all events. the good spots up and down the coast here. Absolutely, yep. yeah. So yep. when they come here, you hook them up, get the corporate thing going on at the party, make it happen. And yep. instruction. That's right. And we got the instructors and we got the staff and they're, they're, they guide you and to help you, too. That's the way to go. Yeah, That's absolutely. a good thing to have. Thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. We learned a lot. Good. I uh, hope I was informative and gave you guys a little something to learn Well, there's about. a lot more to this sport than people realize, and they need a good guide, and you're one of the best. Thank you and very I really much. I appreciate that. And next time you're ever in Malibu, come on down and see the family. Huh? And the little guy, too. And until next time, <laughs> just remember to enjoy. enjoy.